I, I'm somewhat of a nut. I love yard work. Uh, Chief Dave Fish, you know Dave. Is Dave here? I didn't see him. Yeah, Dave's uh, my neighbor. I've known him since Altus, Oklahoma. And he can tell you just about every time somebody drives by, I'm out in the yard. I just trim bushes uh, Monday. And I love to mow the yard. And uh, so I'm famous uh, for doing yard work. It takes me away from a microphone and an audience. I get all funky and smelly, and, and I feel good. Okay. So a, a guy uh, drives by, a neighbor, and he stops and rolls the window down. Hey, Chief, how you doing? I said, I'm doing great. Every time I come by, you're working in the yard. Yeah, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy yard work. It gives me a chance to put on a headband and gloves and sweat and stink. Yeah, I enjoy it. And he said, you know, you can pay somebody $40, $50, and they'll do that for you. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that, but I like to do it. I pay myself. I use the money for Ray Tama Track to bet on number six in the fourth race. <laughs> And uh, so I'm, I've had enough of him, right? I'm ready for him to roll up the window and go on. But he decides he's going to analyze me. Uh, Chief, uh, I want to know, I've always wondered why. What is the incentive? What is the motive? What is the reason? He, he's got me laying on a couch. Try Why I do this yard work? And so just to get rid of him and to say something, I said a phrase for which I'm now famous uh, because my name is on the mailbox. Because my name is on the mailbox. I'm giving you a moment to let that sink in. That's powerful. Because my name is on the mailbox. We're talking accountability. We're talking responsibility. We're talking pride. We're talking, it's mine. It's got my name on it. And I'm proud of that. That's my wife. You met her. That's Carol, <laughs> who you saw in the earlier uh, uh, photo. That's my flagpole, where I have a light so I can fly at 24 hours a day. Those are my snapdragons. Those are my pit of sperm bushes. That's my home. I want you to drive by and say, nice looking yard. And the only way I can do that is to put forth the effort it takes and the mental ability to say, my name is on the mailbox. I used to work at USAA. I would go out of my way in that huge building to pick up a tissue on the floor. Hey, Bob, you the new janitor? No. Why are you policing up? Because it's my building. I work here. I bring people to lunch. I don't want them to say it's a messy building. It's my building. It's ownership. It's pride. It's accountability. Desert Storm. I don't know if any of you were in during Desert Storm. My favorite story. Uh, CNN here. I'm on a flight line in the war zone. As you can see, there's a lot of activity. We see planes taxiing. Let me see if I can find somebody who can explain what's going on. And a senior airman walks by. Excuse me, airman, uh, CNN, please come over. Uh, uh, your name, please. Where are you from? <laughs> Kids at Buffalo, New York. And your job would be what? I'm the crew chief on that F-16 taxiing in. Oh, really, CNN? Uh, uh, where's that airplane been? I can't tell you that, sir. That's sensitive data. I surely understand that. Let me ask you this, young man. Is that a good airplane? It's the best airplane in the entire inventory. Really? What makes it so good? I thought he would say it flies fast, it'll fly far. You remember what he said? It's my airplane. It's my airplane. If that doesn't light your fire, your logs are wet. I get goosebumps when I tell the story. It's my airplane. Common sense. <clears throat> if we want somebody to be motivated and tuned in, they uh, accept responsibility for their part. We haven't always done the best job of that. It should start with basic training. 
Here's the mailbox. There's room for your name. As of now, you're part owner. Yeah, we don't want to say dumb thing like, hang around a couple of years and we'll let you feel important. They deserve to feel important immediately and know what contribution they're making and what they're doing. Name on the mailbox. General Lester Lyles, a retired uh, AFMC, Paul Nkowski has a job he had. He's now chairman of the board of USAA. Great guy. Uh, Chief, I hope you're, you don't mind I'm using your mailbox story. Uh, sir, you pay a major $85,000 to write your damn talks. Get your own story. <laughs> Chief, it's such a great story. I was hoping you wouldn't mind. Sir, I have a feeling you're going to use the story whether I tell you you can or can't. You're probably right, he said. So I go to Maxwell and I tell my story. And they said, you stole that from General Lyle. No, he stole it from me, yeah. <laughs> so next time you use that, uh, yeah, I'm the guy that uh, put the name on the mailbox, yeah, uh, a long time ago when Snapdragons were growing. You can